Hey man, say man, it's your boy my makes money back again with a new video and today I'm going to be talking about high growth stocks. These stocks got hit the most because these are the stocks that are thinking about the future and right now the market is correcting itself, realigning itself just to focus on stocks that are doing good right now and have been doing good for a long time. So I see a lot of banks staying in the green or close to the green as they can. Disney, that's a powerhouse probably almost a monopoly i would say just going insane with the content and just theme parts itself been here for a long time it's probably going to stay for a long time so i think that's where the market is going just to things that are the most reliable and they're not going to be focusing on things that could be the future like tesla all these stocks that have high growth in because they're doing something unbelievable things that the market is not ready for I, to me, I just see the market as a lot of older people just trying to just keep their money steady. Just put it somewhere and just let it grow. But me, on the other hand, make, try to make as much money as I can in the short amount of time as I can. Fast money, the best money is also the best way to lose money. That's my idea of it. And just these high growth stocks have been hit, especially Tesla. Tesla has been taking a nosedive. This stock, I didn't even think. I saw it hit to 800. I'm like, damn, that's a crazy high price. I know Tesla's good. I see some Teslas going on the street, signing this shit. I'm like, okay, Tesla has some nice cars, but a lot of people do th think that it was overvalued because they're, they're still in the beginning stages and they're not making insane amount of producing. They don't have like a lot of uh, delivery vehicles. Basically, they're not, they're, they're trying to do as much as they can, but Hey, it's slow in the beginning. This is just the beginning. They're probably, hopefully, going to be able to produce more cars in the future. But they're just doing it on a limited supply. They're not able just to produce as much as they can. Like other companies like Toyota and all these sedans, all these com car companies that just can produce cars like this because they got the infrastructure and all this technology. While Tesla's focusing on electric vehicles, which are most likely harder to produce since they're just a newer thing. So Tesla has been taking that dive. It went from a high, high, um, all-time high of like $860. Now I think it hit around 550 if I'm correct. I was just watching it during class this morning and I see a lot of stocks dipping. All these stocks going red. Every stock that I'm looking at are mostly stocks that are investing in the future. Future is probably the best thing that you can invest in because these are going to have the highest growth. All these stocks like banks and stuff, yo, what what else can they do? What else can they do? They can't do anything. They've been doing it for so long that they're not really going to be focusing on the future. I see a lot of these stocks that have the, that's why they're probably stable because they don't do anything. Like you invest in a bank, what are they going to invent? What are they able to produce that is going to be revolutionary? They're just... A bank and I see a lot of banks I I personally believe that these banks are gonna go out of business because they're not up to date old shit gets old and people forget about it and they're not gonna focus on it that's why me and a lot of people that I do watch are investing in stocks that oh have a lot of potential and these stocks are taking the dip right now because people want to focus on things that they already know have been lasting for so long but I don't see this market correction as a long-term thing, I see it as a one-time thing. Not a one-time thing, just I see it as like maybe a month or two. At most, it's probably going to be three. If it if it goes to like three months, I think the market is just done, like 2009 type stuff. I don't know what happened in 2009, but I know it was bad. So, you know, I, I was I was like, nah, I was like seven. So, I did, I'm not saying I wasn't part of the stock thing the stock culture back then but hey i think it was bad but the market does not correct itself i don't, I don't think it's even gonna be this bad because stimulus checks coming in a lot of things a lot of people getting into the market way more easier to invest back wait right now than 2009 so i don't think the market is going to crash at all i see it's more of a correction and people just trying to just trying to keep their money safe Banks not even having high interest rates, so if you keep your money in a bank, you could probably get like nothing, barely anything. While they just could probably gonna put it in the trust fund or uh, 
put it somewhere else and make like 15% return on some type shit. But that's just how I see I'm not a financial advisor in any way. I'm just a dude on the internet that just expresses his thoughts. And tough. <laughs> but yeah, just the market right now is just correcting itself. I see it as uh, maybe a one more month lasting. I mean, honestly, as long as I have like $500 in my stock account, I may have lost like $1,000 dollars but not yet but if i lose like a thousand as long as it goes on a bull run for another year hey and i'll be fine with that because you know what as long as i'm able to make money hey hey sometimes you're gonna lose some money sometimes you're gonna make money in the stock market that's just how it is that's just how life is you win some you lose some that's the mentality you gotta have i might be down a thousand dollars but i ain't gonna cry about it because it be like that sometimes. And I see a lot of people, especially the YouTubers that I watch, they're down like, down, down bad. Like maybe like 5,000. Something crazy. Nothing like insanely, not millions. But hey, the market is bleeding right now. Red everywhere. Hopefully the market goes back up soon. What are your thoughts on the stock market? Do you think it's going to go back up? And yeah, just type in the comments. That's it for the video. Hope you have a good day, good life, good year, good everything. And peace. This is your boy, Mike Makes Money. And just living life vibing.